I got a request for undoing this problem. So you're given um, the beginnings of a line weaver Bork plot, but it's not uh, completed. So to complete it, you must uh, draw a line. So I should, you should be doing this with a ruler, but um, straight line through your points. And the question um, I was asked to specifically answer question number 20. So if the substrate was measured in micromolar, so substrate is in micromolar, and the velocity was measured in millimole per second, could you determine the initial velocity measured when five micromolar of substrate was used by looking at this graph? And you can. So if you had used 5 micromolar of substrate, when you plot that on the graph, that would be 1 over substrate concentration. So it would be 1 over 5 micromolar. So it would be 0 0.2 micromolar per micromolar. So <clears throat> that's where, that's the point that would be plotted on the graph. And so remember for, in your experiment, for every substrate you use, you measure a particular initial velocity. And that's what you measure in a lab. And then when you plot an LB plot, you just take the inverse of each substrate and the inverse of each appropriate initial velocity and plot that on this graph. So when the substrate concentration was 5 micromolar, that would get plotted at 0.2. So here we go. And then to see what the initial velocity was, at that substrate concentration, we read the, the x, sorry, we read the y-axis. And so <clears throat> where what we get from there I'm going to write up here. So what corresponds to 1 over 5 micromolar is 0 0.05 is 1 over initial velocity. So 0 0.05 initial velocity equals 1. You just cross multiplied. Initial velocity equals 1 divided by 0 0.05 which equals 20. And you're told the units, it's millimole per second. And so that is your answer for this question. You could also solve this using the michaelis menten equation, plugging in numbers, solving for initial velocity. I think that takes much more time, but you can still get to the correct answer that way. I won't bother showing you that because it is just plug and chug, but you still have to read the graph to pull out the initial velocity and substrate concentration that you use, even if you were going to use those values and plug them into the michaelis menten equation.